Well, first, talk about what a ventilator is and how it works. So, Gary, a ventilator is basically a machine that supports or replaces the function of the lungs. Now, if you think about your lungs, the way you normally breathe is that you take a deep breath, your diaphragm drops downwards, and you create a suction effect that sucks air into the lungs. A ventilator is a machine that has a tube that's put in your throat that actually pushes the air into your lungs, and that's oxygen-rich air and it takes out the carbon dioxide. And you can imagine, because everybody's lungs are different size and shape, it is very tricky to have two patients sharing a ventilator, which they're doing in New York for some patients in order to have enough ventilators. The other thing with the ventilator is because it's a relatively sophisticated piece of equipment, it takes about three months to assemble, and it costs $25,000 to $50,000 to buy one. And that's one of the reasons we're facing ventilator shortages, is because a lot of these hospitals did not have stockpiles of the ventilators as they should have because it is so, such an expensive piece of equipment. Yeah, it is frightening, those reports that they're sharing ventilators in New York for sure. So it does take a, a good amount of expertise to insert one of these, I understand. Uh, ventilator therapists uh, do that and, and they have to sedate you, right? Yeah, and actually, ventilator therapists can't put the tube in. It has to be an anesthesiologist or an emergency medicine doctor. And as you can imagine, that's an extremely high-risk period for the person who's actually putting the tube in because they're being exposed directly to the airways and the respiratory secretions. And often, because I explained, the ventilator pushes in rather than sucks in, you actually have to sedate and sometimes paralyze the person who's on the ventilator so that they're not breathing against the ventilator and actually fighting it. So, you know, it's a big deal to be on a ventilator, and especially in the setting of COVID-19, we're seeing that a lot of patients that get on the ventilator don't end up getting off of it, unfortunately. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. We've been hearing so much about vents. How many people do you think uh, in this crisis, is there a way to tell, are ending up on vents, and how many are, are getting off in a good way? So we do know from the data that, uh, you know, of the, of the 100 people that get COVID, 20 will end up in the hospital, five will end up in the intensive care unit, and about three to five will end up on the ventilator. And studies from China are showing us, unfortunately, that 50% of people, this is the largest study we have to date, 50% of people, once they get on the ventilator, won't get off of it. And then we also have a recent report from the United Kingdom, which is a little bit smaller, that suggested that two thirds of people who get on the ventilator won't get off of it. So it's been really unfortunate because the ventilator and most other diseases is actually something you're on for a few days, you get better, you rest the lungs, and you know you can get off of it. But in COVID, what we're seeing is that patients are on the ventilator for weeks and weeks. So data from New York is telling us that about three weeks or so people are on the ventilator, two to three weeks, as opposed to three or four days, which is the average for other diseases. And of course, the longer you're on the ventilator, the less likely you are to get off, the more risk of complications. So we're realizing the ventilator is not a, sol a solution really for people with COVID. And sometimes, you know, it's kind of an unfortunate way to see somebody go when they're not awake and they're not able to say goodbye to their family. So it's been really disappointing, actually. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, it just shows uh, how brutal this disease can be. Dr. Coley, thank you very much. As usual, you're going to stick around for our 8 o'clock hour and answer some viewer questions. So thanks in advance for that.